I'm Barbie, and you're here on the hit TV show, Barbie's Dream House, where we discuss a new topic each and every week. This week we are here with famous mathematician Emmy Noter. This interview was filmed a few years ago. Hope you enjoy! Hello Emmy, I'm so glad you're on the show. Thank you, I'm so happy to be here. I know, who wouldn't be? <laughs> anyway, Emmy, tell us about your life. Okay, I was born in Germany on March 23rd, 1882 to my parents, Amelia and Max Noter. My father was a mathematician and worked at the University of England. When I was young, I was nearsighted and spoke with a lisp. At the time, it was uncommon for Jewish girls to attend school, but I did. When I was younger, I studied to become a language teacher. In finishing school, I got a degree and became qualified to teach English and French, but never pursued, pursued teaching because what I really wanted to do was to study math at the university. However, at this time, women were not allowed to enroll at the university. What we were allowed to do was sit in classes, but we could not earn a degree. There were 2,000 students in the university, and I was one of two women. I sat in on classes on history and language, but mostly mathematics. Fortunately for me, the laws had changed at this time to allow women to enter the university if they pass the entrance exam. In 1907, I obtained my doctorate in mathematics from the University of England. I wanted to go on to further my research, but because I was a woman, it was not possible. So I stayed at the university and assisted my father, who was a professor, and also was disabled from polio. I continued my work in mathematics at the University of England. Miss? Miss? What? Oh, sorry, I fell asleep. That was so boring. Well, I could say the same thing about your TV show. It was extremely uninteresting. And all you talk about is the next summer's trends and the latest and greatest diets that are theoretically impossible. <sighs> Whatever, let's just hurry up with this so we can get up back to the Jamba Juice commercial. Well, at least I contributed to this something to the scientific and mathematical world. Really? Why'd you do that so great anyway? I did groundbreaking work that led to discoveries like Notarian rings, two basic concepts in ab abstract algebra, are groups and rings. I did work in rings, and this is what I found. I also did work that is known as Noter's Theorem and Notarian Induction. I could even venture to say that I love math. Aww. I continued to teach at universities, presented at many conferences, and kept active in intellectual circles throughout my life. We didn't have email back then, so sometimes I communicated through postcards. Even Albert Einstein saw my work and referred to me as having a penetrating mathematical thinking. Albert Einstein? Oh, I think that's a flavor of Ben and Jerry's ice cream. Wait, no, 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 he's the guy that invented the light bulb, right? But what does that even have to do with math? Oh, Barbie. <laughs> Much of my work is important to algebra, but I never became famous for it, nor is I paid very much. Today, a crater on the moon is named after me. Live long and prosper. And so is a street name in my hometown. <laughs> a school that I intended is now named e Emmy Noter School, too. But now on to news about Java Juice. This. Now on to the three brand new Java flavors. One is chocolate cookie dough. The other is chocolate banana fudge. And the third is... <gasps> I just found out that when I was talking to Emmy Noter, it was actually her ghost. She died, she actually died in 1935. Mm -hmm. Emmy Knopfler's work was very abstract and was very hard to understand. Therefore, we tried to do as many example equations and explain it as clearly as possible. Thank you for your understanding.